On previous videos, I showed you how to move data from Power BI into SharePoint or OneDrive using Power Automate. And you've asked me, how do you do it with a local file? Can you actually do it? And the answer is yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to show you in this video. In case you've never used Power Automate before to export the data to Power BI, I'm going to show you the entire process. But if you have, just skip to the parts that interest you, okay? So let me show you how it's done. So Power Automate, powerautomate.com, and it will take you to uh, Flow. And uh, we're going to start a new flow. So we go to new flow. We're going to schedule the flow. You can have a trigger, obviously, but in this case, we're going to schedule it and say uh, automatic Power BI export. They start in every 10 minutes, for example, or I don't know how, how much you want it. Create. Probably you would want to have this like once a day, unless you have like live data. So the next step is Power BI, right? Let's grab the data. There is a new operation called run a query against the data set. This is the one that we want. And obviously where the file that, where you want to get data from needs to be published to the service. I've already published mine. It's here in Northwind. And then is the old data, I think. So now we need to write a DAX query. And I showed you in a previous video how you can do that. There's two ways to do it. So go and check it out if you need more information. I'm going to show you anyway here, one way. So if you go back to Power BI, I have created a table that gets sales date already in product ID from the Northwind data set. And it's just to summarize columns uh, function. Very, very easy. So we're going to copy these, go back to Power Automate, in here, and the syntax define a variable and then evaluate the variable. So define, make sure you spell it correctly, though, otherwise you're going to run into trouble. Give it a name to these, variable, I don't know, sales. And then we have evaluate and then sales. Save. Give it a quick test just to make sure that you're on track. You know, I wish we didn't have to click so many times just to test something. It's like click, 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 click. So you can see it work correctly, which is neat. So let's go back to edit and continue building. So now we have that every 10 minutes is going to go to the data set and it's going to grab the data that we specified. And now we're going to uh, move it to CSV, move it to Excel, it's just not easy. And if you're just doing it for, you know, saving historical data or things like that, just don't bother with Excel. CSV is a better method to store data. So if you write CSV, you will here create CSV table and the output is the table rows. Okay, so now that we have the CSV file created virtually at least we want to store it on the local drive so how do we do that on flow there is a connector called file system and allows you to basically access the local file system on your computer and uh, there are some issues and limitations i'm going to post the link so make sure that you check it out in case you run into one of them. So it's, for example, file size, is the API calls, you have the data gateway connection, and oh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. All the information is in here in case you run into trouble. Now, for Flow Power Automate is to be able to connect to your computer, a small program is needed. It's called a data gateway. I already have a, the data gateway installed on my computer, so I'm going to post the link here so it shows you how to do it. You give you a link, you s install a small program, and you just go through the steps that are in here. You need to make sure that, you know, these Power Apps, Power Automates is enabled, right? So you can actually access it, and that's all. Make sure you install it first, because otherwise it will not work. But just go here, follow the instructions, and you're done, okay? So let's get back to Power Automate. So we're going to go in here and click File System. 
and it will show us all the actions that you can do with file systems. The one that we're going to have is create a file, but you can see you can append it, you can delete, you can get all types of stuff. So we do create a file. We need to um, create a um, where in your folder system you want to have your file stored. And for that, you need to do it actually here. I have already have a connection, but let's add a new connection. So once you install the gateway, you will be prompted to do this. So you should be okay. But anyway, uh, so what was going to be the connection name? I don't know. We can call it Power BI, for example. Where is going to be your root folder path? So where in your computer should this be stored? So I'm actually going to pick this path here to, to store it. You just paste it in there. Then you have authentication type is Windows. And then you have to put the username and password. Now, <laughs> I always forget what my username is. So I'm going to show you a trick for that. You click Windows Run, Windows R on your keyboard. And then you type CMD, click OK. And then you write who am I and click enter. And whatever comes in here, that's your username. Okay. Close it, paste it in there. And then you put your Windows password. So the password that you use to log into Windows. And then you need to select the gateway. Okay. Create. And now I have specified a told Flow or Power Automate exactly where I want my files to be exported to. Uh, you go in here, File System, because you added the path, it'll show here. You can see here that those are the folders that I have on that specific path. I don't want it into the... I want it here. I want it at the top level of the uh, path that I created. Okay, now for create file, what we are going to do is create a new file each time. So on the expression, we need to have a variable that we change every time. Otherwise, it's going to tell you, hey, the file already exists. So I'm going to use the UTC now that I always use. So this is basically a now timestamp. But Power Automate is not going to like it. It's going to say there's like semicolon. We don't allow that on... Um, on names, on file names. So you need to actually convert these to... Instead of a time zone, you need to have look, the time, you need to have just date. So for that, we need to add a little bit of code. I'm going to actually copy it. Why bother writing it? That looks like this. So format date time, you to see now. And then we add sales.csv. And then the content of the file is going to be the output of the previous step, create CSV file, this one, save. And now we're going to test it. And hopefully it works as always. Let's see. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so now if I go to my folder, I have the file that I just downloaded here. So that's basically everything you need to do to save to a local file. Remember that your computer has to be on in order for Power Automate to be able to access it, but otherwise it works beautifully. So for tomorrow's video, what we're going to do is we're going to start filtering the data that gets exported. First, we're going to filter the data using Power Automate, but then on a later video, we will use the filters and the slicers in Power BI to decide what data gets exported. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow.